a good clean out once every three months leaves you feeling shiny and new. All you have to do is lie back, relax and... Hmm. Mr. Goodenough's here for his appointment, B. Don't blow it, B. Be extremely delicate and keep your decorum. <laughs> Mr. Goodenough, come on through. Please, please call me Darren. Oh, right. If you'd just like to slip into this, Mr. Goodenough. Oh, Darren, sorry. <laughs> okay. Be gentle, but firm. Today is the day. If you don't ask, you don't. Shall I get on the table? Now you know what position to take. You've done it enough times. Yes, yeah. How are things in the stock market? Well, you know, fluctuates. Oh, does it? Really? Yeah. Right. Ready then? Yeah. Amazing. It's like a cleansing of the soul, really. Oh, Darren. I think... I think... Oh, B. Louise Payne's here for her appointment. She's in a bit of a hurry. Uh, I'd better get going then. Thanks, B. Bye. Louise Payne, you bitch. You want pain? I'll give you pain. Do you remember when I told you I had this special third eye that enabled me to take a leap out of myself and to look at myself from another perspective? Well, the other day I noticed something very odd. Uh, did you know what was that then? I noticed I'm like a chameleon. No! Comedy's not your forte, darling. Well, that's crap for a start, Peter. But I didn't say comedian, I said chameleon. I mean, I'm able to adapt to any situation, with anybody, and totally blend into my environment. That is such a good attribute for an actress to have. Ow! Would you be a little less brutal with that tube? Sorry. The only way you can ever adapt in an environment is by dropping your drawers and succumb to the casting couch. I am totally disgusted by that comment. <laughs> Don't come the innocent with me, Louise. I got a call from Shiny Face Castings giving me the full lowdown on your auditioning tactics. What? Yes, apparently the um, cameraman would have let you shag him, though. Mm, if I've heard this crap once, I've heard it a thousand times. And why this one chooses to bring a agent with her on every occasion, I'll never know. When will it change? Oh, mister. Good enough. When will it change? Please, God. Please, God, let today be the day. Just swallow your pride, B. Just swallow your pride. This is good enough. What? Are you okay, B? Good enough's already in there, mate. Oh, really? <clears throat> well, don't disturb us then. It's been a long time. Three months. Exactly. The stock market's still fluctuating? Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. I haven't got long this morning, better get to it. Okay, Koki, if you'd like to take your position. Yeah, sure. Darren, I've got something to ask you. It's a little bit awkward, but I was just wondering if I could... Yes. What? 
Yes. I mean, I, I assume you were going to ask me on a date. <gasps> Even I'm not that silly enough to overlook the chemistry. Oh my god, he wants me. Tomorrow night, Carlos restaurant, I'll pick you up here when you finish work, yeah? Oh yes, absolutely. Oh, I'm sorry, Darren. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> That's okay. That's right. That's fine. Peter, I know for a fact that you would have shagged someone for a part in a movie, or something. Yeah, for a movie, not a poxy crime reconstruction. Have you noticed Bee's been smiling a lot lately? Oh, yeah. Are you in love? If only they knew. I won't be here for your clonic regation next time. My life's going to change so dramatically, it'll even outdo your dramas, Louise. He works for the Stock Exchange, actually. Oh, very soon I won't have to put up with any more of this shit. Peter, I'm surprised you never had a chronic irrigation. I would have thought they'd been right up your alley. I'm sorry. 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 Taryn! I'm sorry. B. I've got something to ask you. What? on a very short and sweet relationship that went down the tube in no time at all. So, as the saying goes, never mix business with pleasure. Oh!